Hello, Feo Chromostoma. Feo means dark, chroma means colored, soot means cell, and ulma means tumor. So this is a dark colored cell tumor. And we can find feochromostomas in the adrenal medulla. 90% of the cases are found here. And which are the adrenals? Adrenals are the organs sitting on top of the kidneys. And we can divide the adrenal gland into cortex and medulla. And we see that in the medulla, we have epinephrine and norepinephrine, which is being produced. And 90% of feochromostomas are in this medulla region. So this is the picture of the tumor. Here we can see the tumor in the adrenal gland. And as we said, it secretes catecholamines, epinephrine, norepinephrine, dopamine. The other name of epinephrine is adrenaline. The other name of norepinephrine is noradrenaline. And we have to remember something called 10% rule. It means that 10% can be extra adrenal. It means that it is not found in the adrenal gland. It is found some 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 other, other, other place, extra adrenally. For example, the paraganglioma. And the typical site is the sympathetic ganglia and especially the organ of Zuckerkandel at the aortic bifurcation. And here you can see your, the picture of it. We have the sympathetic trunk and at the aortic bifurcation down there, we have the organs of Zuckerkandel. 10% 10, 10 can be malignant, which means that it is not benign. It is the opposite of benign. So benign is when we have an enclosed tumor. It is it is not so dangerous as the malign malignant type. The malignant have an irregular border, as you can see, and we have neovascularization, and it is uh, invasive, so it can spread to the whole body. Ten percent are familial, meaning that it is inherited in the family. Ten percent can be multiple. Here you see the picture of a liver with multiple metastases, so multi multiple. Uh, uh, tumors. 10% can be bilateral, standing for that we have uh, both adrenal glands affected. 10% can calcify. Here you see the whitish, hard calcific deposition in the tumor. 10% can be found in children. Temper and then we have the symptoms of 6Ps. So the patient comes in and will typically be presented with symptoms that start with P. Panic attack, for example. Pressure, for example, episodic hypertension. Pain, for example, headache. Perspiration, like sweating. Palpitation, like tachycardia, which means an increased rate of frequency of the heart. So you see the normal picture on the upper one and the lower one is an increased rate. So this is a ventricle tachycardia, for example. Pallor, which stands for pale skin. So it's a whitish pale skin. And the diagnosis then can be done with the symptoms and with blood tests. And what we will see in the blood, hyperglycemia. So it is an increased amount of sugar in the blood. Hyperlipidemia is an increased amount of lipids, meaning fat, meaning cholesterol. We can have hypokalemia, which is a decreased amount of cal, standing for potassium. So we have a decreased amount of potassium. And the and the banana picture just shows that we have a high amount of potassium in bananas and in feochromostoma we have a low amount of um, potassium and therefore I have just drawn this sad banana standing for that it is decreased. Urine. In the urine we can typically see epinephrine like adrenaline, metanephrine which is very important in this disease, normethanephrine, vanillin mandelic acid and homo vanillic acid. When it, when it gets it. We can localize the tumors by imaging, for example, CT and MRI scans. And then we do the treatment. We start with medications first, and we typically start with alpha blockers like phenoxybenzamine. Then we do beta blockers, propranolol. And then it is important to remember that you always give alpha before you give beta blockers. Otherwise, you can get a hypertensive crisis. And alpha blockers are typically used before 10 to 14 days before the surgery, beta blockers three to five days before the surgery, and then we have the surgery. And the surgery is a typical laparoscopic adrenalectomy, and this means that we have a laparoscopic method that you puncture, you, you puncture uh, in di with different holes in the abdomen with some cameras, and in this way it is not so invasive as an open surgery where you cut up the whole organ, uh, the whole abdomen, and therefore the healing rate is much quicker in this case.